Um, if a customer goes onto the internet and types in, should I trade my car into a car dealer, what's the response going to be? Absolutely 50 not. million people telling them not to ever trade the vehicle in to a car dealer. By the way, most of those 50 million responses are from morons. All right. I definitely want to spend seven weeks trying to sell a car to 437 strangers to get $336. Uh, and you're, well, there's only a couple states that don't give a trade, a trade in credit, a uh, tax credit. You guys do. Um, I got $2,450, I think, in tax credit when I traded my vehicle in. If I'd have tried to sell it myself, could I have gotten more than the dealership gave me? Maybe. Could I have gotten $2,450 more? Don't know. Was I going to put up with the hassle of trying it? Hell no. I mean, I'm a car salesman, and I don't want to do it. Because the customers are in different positions in the sales funnel when they arrive, it's difficult to define a specific time that makes the early and active trade walk most effective. However, the earlier, the better. Okay, some, uh, some salespeople tell me they do the trade walk after they come back from the demonstration ride. Well, shit. To me, that's way too late. You've missed out on the opportunity to learn about the customer, how they drive the vehicle. You've learned, you've missed out uh, on an opportunity to discover what their hot buttons are. Yes, sir. I got a question. All yes, right. sir. So when we're here, they tell, you know, bring the customer in as soon as possible. Sure. How would you transition from going from inside to going back outside to do a trade walk? I'd say, hey, Kelvin, um, in order to get you top dollar for your vehicle, I need to make sure I know everything good about your vehicle. Look, when they appraise it, they're going to figure out everything that's wrong with it. That's their job. But in order for me to tell a better story, I need to hear it from you Let's go check out your vehicle so we can make sure we give you credit for all the options and accessories you have. Cool? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it for them. I'm doing it for me, too, but I'm also doing it for the customer. I mean, it's, I just don't know how you can do a needs assessment session without seeing the customer's car and how they, how they use it. Um, all right, and that, in a nutshell, is the early active trade walk. And Richie, the only difference between the early active trade walk and the silent trade walk is you're, now you're, you're, you're engaging the customer in conversation. All the same, all the same, the moves you've been doing, they're all the same. Okay, you know, touch them and going, hey, you know, shoot, somebody was rude here. All right, you got dings and dents, you got scratches. Hell, everybody does. You're looking at what it costs to get them fixed. Okay, here's what it costs, okay? You might have coverage and then go into that. So it's, so it's not that different from what you've been doing. You're just now engaging the customer in conversation. Questions? Quickest training session ever? Um, so did you record that? Uh, yes, I've oh, recorded okay. everything. Yeah, so we can use it as like a... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to send you the recording. I'm also going to send you the, uh, my early trade walk workbook too. Okay, I just didn't know I was going to do that when I, when I got here today or I wouldn't have had it prepared but I will send it to you all. All right, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Likewise. And I'll see you in February. That's it? Okay.